Ghana is fast becoming a haven for the marketing of counterfeit electrical products, with the business thriving on the blind side of law enforcement agencies and regulators. The situation has been largely attributed to the importation of these products via unapproved routes and the compromised system by some key elements, especially at the borders and ports. According to the Ghana Statistical Service, many of the electrical products on the Ghanaian market, including bulbs, cables and home appliances, are substandard. Speaking at a stakeholders' engagement in Accra with members of the Ghana Union of Traders Association, Guta, the managing director of Nixan Sub-Saharan Africa, Yoniz A. Lalim, called for urgent measures to intensify the sensitization of the local market and also stiffer actions to be taken against dealers in counterfeit electrical products. Strong market surveillance system. And thanks to this market surveillance system, we will make sure that the products that are sold on the market are complied with the standard. It should be based on uh, gathering samples from the market in a random way and to test them regularly to make sure of the continuous uh, quality of the products that are consumed locally. Uh, at our level, to are doing first is that we are making sure that our products are 100% compliant with the standard. Second, we are investing on the awareness. We are trying at any time we meet our customers, direct and indirect customers, to make them aware of the danger, of the risk that they take when they use of standard cables. And also, uh, what we can do is that we can work with all the stakeholders in the country to build the adequate system to fight against this, 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 this virus, this poison that we have in our industry. The national president of Guta, Dr. Joseph Abin, also said his outfit is fully supportive of local manufacturers and called on all to patronize made in Ghana goods and products. We live in Ghana, we believe that we have the resources, but there should be a conscious effort from the government itself that we do, we do these things deliberately. If we want to support our country to be self-sufficient, it means that we'll be prepared. The greater responsibility lies on government and its preparedness to earn some resources and uh, to push this agenda. Then also, not thinking that we are, have to increase productivity and then you raise taxes. It's counterproductive. The news and taxes, as it was cleared, as was, was taken out, uh, out from the table in um, 2017, are all creeping back in folds. And it's not helping businesses. And so if you want to go the way to go, is for government's own effort. The greater responsibility lies on government, our own effort, our own initiative, that this is the way to go. We want to enhance our local productivity. <laughs> this is our resources, and that this is the policy that we've made that we reduce the task burden on this so that they can become relevant in the scheme of affairs of um, uh, the continental free trade area and immediate neighbors um, in the cross-border trading activities that we do.